Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what have we got for you today? We've got another gorgeous, handsome fountain pen. Some of you will look at it and recognise it straight away. Well, what we've got is a Notto the pen. This is the 5601-38. Now, for you regular viewers that watch my videos, yes, you'll know that I've actually shown you this particular pen, or not this pen, but a the same model before. Um, the reason I'm showing this one, um, a regular customer of mine um, has asked me, you know, have I got any Anotto pens available? And I said, yes, I got this one the other day and I'm working on it. So um, he, he's interested in it. So I said I would do a review on the pen. So what we've got, as I say, the Anotto, 5601-38 the size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel it's 136 millimeters capped around the diameter around about 11 millimeters in diameter it comes with gold filled trim you can see to the cap band there a rather sort of thin cap band if we take you up to the to the clip there you can see the very recognizable ball clip um, this one's slightly different to the last one I showed you that um, in some cases Delarue had their logo which was a sort of a sunburst in a circle this one as you can see has got the TD is it the TDR whatever which is Thomas Delarue so it's got the Thomas Delarue logo to the ball clip you can see to the top there it's got this black cap stud and for you people well first of all let me show you the barrel you can see it's got this lovely sort of chasing pattern let's give you a couple of different angles so it's nice and clear for you so it's got a lovely chasing pattern to the pen if we show you the barrel imprint which again is lovely and clear it reads a not the pen Delarue and Company Limited, London. Okay, so I'm hoping that's nice and clear for you. What we've also got on the pen is the model number, which generally is to the bottom of the um, the blind cap or the plunger knob. And I'm hoping you can see there, you've got the 5601. And if I turn it round slightly, as I'm looking over the camera to the back there you'll see it's got the number 38 so the 561 being the model number the 38 will denote the uh, the material or the color or the model of this pen one thing you'll notice as well hopefully just above that 38 you'll see a little arrow pointing left again for you people that watch the videos regular these pens have a little sort of uh, shut off valve so the arrow indicates once you fill the pen you turn it to the left slightly to open up the valve to let the ink flow when you're actually writing now it's got a screw on screw off cap let's give you a couple of little twirls the pen was just a little bit it's actually it was in good condition it was just a little bit tired as normal with these pens the plunger knob the very top of the cap and the section were quite discolored now if I show you the plunger knob and the cap like so okay and also you'll notice the clip there I've actually tightened the clip as well because before this is how it actually looked before okay so that was a picture before as you can see now it's all been nicely polished and it's nicely black as it should be so once again a few little twirls the section on this particular model slightly different than others it's got quite an elongated um, slightly tapered towards the nib section with this little ridge um, towards the nib if we keep the nib nice and still you'll read that it says Delarue Anotto 14 karat London 3 ST 
so it's got the correct nib for this pen again lovely condition everything's been cleaned all the internal parts you can see the feed nicely nicely clean as it should be and as uh, some of you may know um, these need plungers again when it came to me the plunger knob would not come out because uh, what actually happens is the plungers uh, the seals they harden we've replaced the seals we have replaced the cork the cork seals in the end and hopefully everything should be hunky dory if we pop it down I don't know if you can hear that there's a satisfying sort of popping sound coming from this area here okay okay yes I can hear people shouting yes can we see it writing so what we do we simply pull the plunger out immerse the nib in the ink and press down in one swift movement on the plunger so I'll be quiet I'm hoping you could actually hear that lots of sort of bubbling going on so what we do we turn the plunger all the way home and as I say because we've got this shut off valve we just simply turn it maybe half a turn towards where the arrow is indicating on the plunger knob right let's see how the pen writes so what we have is let's give it a little bit of a wipe and not so the pen incidentally we're dating the pen from the 1940s um, as you can see it's writing with a fine fine line now if I apply a little bit of pressure you will see that we're getting a little bit of a variation in line not a great deal but there is a little bit of variation downward stroke slightly wider the cross stroke is a lot thinner so let's show you the writing sample lovely writer nice and wet fine line with a little bit of variation with pressure on the nib so a lovely lovely writer now some people like to see how the pen actually works you know how it fills <coughs> so what I'm going to do I'm going to be very careful <laughs> no I'm not I know you people that watched my last video I made a right mess so first of all what I'm going to do is unscrew the plunger knob pull the plunger out press it a couple of times so we can extract the ink in the pen and then for you people that like to see the pen working what I'm going to do is bring on some water pull out the plunger knob as we said dip it in the water and you could see there lots of bubbling going on we leave it in a couple of seconds and that allows the water to run or the ink to run into the pen now if I bring on another cup which is empty and if we pull out the plunger knob now then you shouldn't really do this when the pink sorry the pen is full but you'll see if I pull the plunger out oh that wasn't too bad sometimes you do get ink actually coming out when you pull the plunger out right so what I'm going to do now is press down in one movement on the plunger and there we have it you can see how the water squirts out so let's do that once more for you immerse it in the ink or the water again you could hear and actually see all the bubbling going on if we transfer that over to the other cup plunger out and then press down again you'll see the the water or the ink coming out of the 
nib. Okay, so once more, just to show you, press down on the plunger. You could see lots of bubbling going on. And then if we transfer it to the other cup, press down on the plunger. You could hear it actually comes out actually with quite a bit of pressure. Okay, so let's pop that to one side. Let's pop that to one side. Let's just give the pen a little wipe. So I'm hoping that makes it a little bit clearer for how these pens actually work. So pop the cap back on and there we have it. And a lovely, very handsome, a not of the pen 5601 dash 38 as i say this is for a, a customer of mine so i hope you've enjoyed looking at the uh, video mark i hope the pen is to your liking and i'll talk to you in a little while i hope you people have enjoyed looking at this pen as much as i enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment below don't be shy and have you subscribed? No? Why not? Subscribe now. But for now, I'll just simply say bye-bye for now.